Okay, in this video we're going to examine the claim that there's huge differences between the Cambridge King James Bible and the Oxford King James Bible, which they say those with an Oxford edition, you know, are experiencing more Mandela effects and all that stuff. Well, the changes seem to be right across the board. Um, there are only, as it says on this website and various other ones, 12. 12 differences between um, the pure Cambridge edition and the Oxford edition. We're just going to look at those. And here we go. It says it's important to have the correct, perfect, and final text of the King James Bible since there are corrections uh, who have uh, changed some of the aspect of the King James Bible text. The final form of the King James Bible is the pure Cambridge edition, which uh, conforms to the following. So there's only these 12 differences. Joshua 19.2, um, it says, or Sheba, and not and Sheba, sin with a small s, uh, not sins, plural, again with a small s. Uh, large s spirit of God uh, and small s spirit of God Job 33 4 and you can just go through them so you can see that they're not massive changes they're just uh, you know the first letter whether it be capital or small letter really that's all it is or or and uh, sin sins that's, that's it whom ye whom he it means the same thing so you can see there's not massive changes there and so this is not uh, a big reason for the Mandela effect very slight 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 changes they're, they're not uh, Mandela effects such as I'll sh I can show you now just one or two we got this from Isaiah 45 verse 14 what I believe it originally said is surely God is in thee and there is no other gods see and there is no other god but it now says and there is none else there is no god and that's in the Oxford edition and that's in the Cambridge edition so you really think that that translates there is no god instead of um, surely god is in thee there is no other gods you know because this does not make sense this is not something that you would f you should find written in your Bible there is no God okay this is a Mandela effect let's see another one and the lion shall lie down with the lamb and the li lion shall lie down with the lamb lion shall lie lie down with the lamb, lamb. Well, you can see here, Isaiah 11, 6, it doesn't even say lie down. It just says, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. That's all it says. And then it says, the leopard shall lie down with the kid. So they've, you can see they've rearranged words here. They've rearranged words. Isaiah 65, 25, the wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. You see? They've rearranged words, literally just rearranged them. That's This is what's happened here. This is a Mandela effect, changing our Bibles. Well, anybody that's been a Christian for more than five minutes understands about the parable of the wineskins. Not anymore. It's talking about bottles now. It doesn't say wineskins, it's talking about bottles. There's Mark 2.22. Down here in uh, Matthew 9.17, it's talking about bottles now, instead of wineskins, the parable of the wineskin. Never existed, my friend. Never existed, according to this. And check your, check your Bible at home as well. It's not just online, it's just not the electronic Bibles. It's... Uh, Oxford Cambridge edition Bibles going back hundreds of years now the word stuff was never a you know an old English word well you see it mentioned here 13 times and 
the passage here about the abomination of desolation right here in that day he which shall be upon the house top and his stuff in the house what it doesn't even make sense in that day he which be upon the house top and his stuff in the house let him not come down to take it away it doesn't even it never just used to say it in that order in that day he which be in the house top let him not come down uh, to get his uh, possessions it used to say not like it doesn't say it in that order and he that is in the field let him likewise not return back stuff was never there it was never written in that order now besides the bible changes you're getting now over a million results on youtube for mandela effect videos which could be anything from earth changes you got the president here in a six seater rather than a you know the regular four seater which in the museum it's a, still a four seater and so on i mean you're just getting so many um I'm not sure if flat earthers, a lot of flat earthers don't agree with the Mandela effect because the, the physics of the flat earth doesn't uh, speak about opening space gates or wormholes or going back in time and all that stuff. But it is spoken of in the Einstein Rosen belt, you see. Um, and even Fox News recently uh, picked up the Mandela effect which I'm not going to play that it will probably be copyrighted but you can watch this video um, they're talking about mind control here so they're actually talking about mind control weapons or something to that effect but they're not actually admitting that there are changes you know uh, here we see the monopoly man always with an, eye, an eyeglass like 9 out of 10 people will say you had an eyeglass and yet they'll turn around and say well you've been mind controlled or you, you've had fake memories you know implanted in you that's nonsense everybody knows you had, had a monocle everybody knows that and most people know that and so they are very very obvious um, Mandela effects I think this news reporter was like a shapeshifter I remember watching that one and he was like a uh, he shapeshifted into some sort of lizard or something, or maybe just demonically possessed. Um, but that's not a Mandela effect. That this has been going on for since pretty much the beginning. So anyhow, guys, I'll uh, I'll let you uh, get on with your day. And the grace of God is through the faith in Jesus Christ that we're saved by grace through faith in Him. Hallelujah. God bless you.